Hey there, Mike here with Cine Samples, and this is the Cine Piano walkthrough video. So Cine Piano, this is a piano that we sampled in the middle of the historic MGM scoring stage here in Los Angeles. And uh, to quote John Hammond from Jurassic Park, uh, we've spent no expense on this, and we spent a lot of time capturing a very detailed piano uh, that is meant to work with all of our other libraries. We recorded everything here at the, at the MGM scoring stage, so we're able to layer it in with everything that we already have and, it's, and it mixes and sounds great because uh, it's all recorded in the same room. So I'll go through some of the patches here and give you an idea of what is possible. This is the default. I'm just kind of noodling. Um, please bear with my, I've kind of, my chops used to be somewhat decent, but not anymore. Uh, this is, uh, these are the features. So first of all, like all of our other stuff, there are mixing presets. We have three microphones, close, room, and surround. And what I'm gonna do, instead of just independently showing you them, we have something that's called the perspective. This is something we started to introduce into some of the updates for the other libraries. This is, uh, so if I'm playing, this is just like the close. Okay, and then what I'll do is I'll gradually move up this mod wheel and you'll see this uh, fader is just connected to any, just CC1. And as I move it up, you'll see that the room will start to take it, take over. So this is just the room mics, right? And then uh, we'll move all the way to the surround mics and that's... back down to the, the close. So, I mean, for me, I, I don't know how you guys think about this. I like having easy control over the mic positions and I don't want to be messing with it. I just want having it attached to the mod wheel, especially for things like piano and harp um, and, and dulcimer and uh, things that are more like have, have a string attack uh, and, and harpsichord. These are things that, that make great use out of this and, and celeste. So anyway, um, that is the mic positions. I'm going to go back to the full mix now. And let's go into the settings. So uh, this thing that I want to show you is the character knob. The, you know, aside from mic positions, the second most important thing with a virtual instrument piano is control over the velocity response of the keys because all keyboards are different. They all have different velocity curves. And changing that velocity curve drastically changes the feeling and, the, and, and how the piano responds. So we have, we've added this thing, character, uh, a character knob. So let me show you. I'm going to uh, control it with CC1. Okay. And we've been using this natural. Now, the intimate one is all like low. If you look over here as I move it, it kind of alters the, the velocity curve. So we've been listening to this, and this is the natural character, the default, uh, sort of a standard straight linear curve. Uh, but I'm going to uh, add a, a CC control here so I can control it with a uh, mod wheel. Let's go to intimate. So this is what this sounds like. As I increase the, here I'll add, here's, we're back to the natural. And then of course we have the, the aggressive, which is like, you know. So, 
Sorry about that. I'm from Long Island. I mean, Millie Joel fans out there. So that's, you know, you have there. Intimate, natural, aggressive. That's the idea. Okay? Uh, now, I'm going to show you this. This is enable the triple forte layer. That's only available in the natural and aggressive. And uh, that one's funny because I, I sampled that layer, actually. And I don't recommend doing this on a $100,000 piano. But we really uh, had to get that very, very high velocity. And basically the way I did it was uh, it would take four fingers. I'd aim for the key. I'd start about a foot above the key. And I'd just smash down onto the, onto the key bed as hard as possible. Um, so we have a very, very good, you know, really nice triple forte layer. Um, I actually broke a key. Uh, and during the sampling session somewhere up here doing that but it was worth it right okay so the next thing is we have this pedal behavior this is really cool there isn't a that i know of anyway a piano sample library that 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 accomplishes this uh so i'm just gonna i'm holding the pedal down Bunch of stuff is being held. But what I'm going to do is I'm, gonna, I'm holding the pedal down and I'm going to lift it up quick and put it back down. So if you can hear that, I'll do it again. So what it, does, it doesn't fully dampen it. It kind of just partially dampens it. Technically speaking, what happens is in the script, it just kind of fast forwards further in the tail. But, uh, it creates a really unique effect. It's very realistic. And then in addition to that, um, you know, we have actual true shorts, which um, which don't really exist in, in other libraries. It's, uh, you have to script it and, and I've always been disappointed with libraries that don't really have good, especially down in this lower area. It's nice because you can, you can hear the room. All right, let's check this out. So the soundboard, this is, uh, this applies to the pedal when you have the pedal down. And, uh, it's off by default, but I'm going to turn it on and turn it up a little bit here. So it's, you know, I'm going to hold the pedal down, and if I just hit, you know, you need to listen to this with, hopefully, this doesn't uh, work over, uh, I mean, this probably doesn't work over YouTube, but... So I have a soundboard uh, emulator, and then uh, and then there's a round robin borrowing. Now this piano is sampled 88 keys, multiple velocity layers, but in order to capture the round robin, uh, we did a, a script here which works really well. Actually, I'll show you the you know. So by default here, you almost don't need it. Let me show you. I'll put it up to two here, and it's basically borrowing notes from two semitones up and two semitones down, and and pitch bending them. So it just gives you that control if you want to have that round robin effect. And here we have the dynamic range control. Uh, and this uh, allows us to control how actually loud something is. So it's kind of a, you know, a, a compressor in some way. So if I put it all the way low, the general volume of everything will be the same, although I will hear the differences. So as you get to a higher velocity, you'll hear it. The volume is lowered, but if I do this, the quiet is very quiet. And the loud is very loud. So there you go. It's essentially a MIDI compressor. All right, so that's, that's the basic functions of the uh, main patch here. We have all these presets, which we also... We have some simulated uh, orchestra left and orchestra right uh, if you really wanted to kind of push the piano 
into s- those places in the room. Um, that's very helpful. Uh, we have some, is it, this resonant one is really cool. Uh, so there you go. I'm going to move on now. So let's check out this one. This is a classical mix. So we actually remixed the samples. This is not created from uh, just using contact plugins. We actually used hardware and uh, remixed the entire sample set and rechopped it specifically for these different things. So it's got classical, cinematic, and, and a rock studio grand. So classical is uh, sounds like this. All right, that's the classical mix. It's kind of has a almost more of a distant sound to it. And then we have cinematic, which basically takes the sort of intimate character uh, to another level here. And then finally, I'll show you the Rock Studio Grand. This is uh, emphasizing the high end, um, you know, more uh, higher velocity samples. So there you have it. That's uh, the, those are the four patches that come with Cine Piano. Uh, what's great is uh, this isn't a 100 gigabyte download like some of the other piano libraries out there. Uh, we don't believe in that. We don't believe that a library needs to be that large. Um, it's kind of a gimmick when people do that. That's my opinion. So I think that uh, what we want here, this is a usable library um, for getting the job done for having a really high quality piano in our mixes that just plays well, is low on resources, um, and is just inspiring to play. So there you go. That's Cine Piano. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.